Hello, viewers of this video, and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. Um, made this pixel art a while ago. Now, uh, this video just basically details a montage of 3 by 3 doors. I figured it was time to release at least some of them, you know, so Wintag, please don't poop your pants. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so again, well, not again. Well, I did record this before, but um, I'll be leaving for a long longish trip I there probably won't be videos for maybe a week well again that's probably the average time between videos um, I'm, I'll be making a mega world save during while I am gone hopefully at least and yeah that's just an update on that uh, this is the venue for the mega world save I think it's pretty neat in, in fact, if you make it nighttime, I like the sticky piston lighting. I think it's pretty cool. Just done simply with glowstone underneath there because a sticky piston, well, pistons are a transparent block. And then it's just pretty cool. Nice effect. I did mess it up a little bit, but you know, nobody's going to see that. But anyway, so here it is. Um, just, just, here's the venue. Um, okay, so we come to exhibit A. Oh boy, not another 3x3. Three three. Um, this one is uh, seven, 7 long, uh, 3 wide, and uh, 9 tall, technically 10. Some people call it 10, I call it 9, because just whatever. Um, but this is basically a much, much improved 3x3. Three um, it, you saw my Mark II 3x3, hopefully, uh, that, I kind of like it, but then that one is much better, so, if we come to this 3x3, it's just, whoops, it's, it's badly broken, uh, so, yeah, the old 3x3 is direct, is coordinate dependent, so, in this one, the bottom one fires instead of the top, so it doesn't spit the block. It doesn't spit this block up, it spits this piston up. <laughs> uh, and it does that because of this redstone. It turns out this redstone causes the bud to activate on the bottom piston, but only in certain coordinates. So if we like see this one, this one works fine. Oops. So it works fine. But in this this one, it, it doesn't work. So yeah. Is so yeah, the the new one is much much improved. And here it is. So the pistons are in the middle now. It doesn't use one tick pulses uh for the side pistons, which personally I like a little bit better. And it's also very fast at opening. Um I found out that by doing this with the correct timing back here, um you can create a one tick signal, which will then go through this two repeater, and then speed up the whole opening process. Uh, so yeah. Um, now exhibit B. Uh, this this guy. Uh, I saw comments on one of my three x three videos that uh, somebody was kind of angry that. I'm not sure if angry is the right word, but uh, distraught that nobody has a 3x3 that has the center block coming out of the side. Um, so, this is my quick stab at it. it it's, not, it's not supposed to be pretty. It's just a door, just with the pistons coming out of the side. It's nothing special, but, you know, some people might want it. I'll include it in the Mega World save, just, just in case, I don't know. Uh, now, Exhibit C. This is the very, very, very compact 3x3 three three door. Uh, I may note seamless, so uh, don't try to fool me there. Mm. <clears throat> this has a volume of 140 blocks. It's 14 tall and 10 long. So this makes it um, quite a bit smaller than 7x3x9. Three three so 140 blocks right here. It's pretty awesome. 
Uh, if you want a tutorial, well, you're looking at it. <laughs> this, is, this is all of it, so just, I'm flying around. You can see most of it. You'll probably get it by the end of the video. Um, so this is how it works. So then you can make it a little more aesthetically pleasing by just changing, getting rid, of that, getting rid of that repeater, and then that will make it a little bit more in sync. But yeah, this just makes it smaller. Uh, so there's there's that one. I think that's pretty cool. Some people would probably find it very neat. You can, um, well, for adventure maps or something. You can fit the entire door in a three wide wall, so very, very awesome. Uh, this is my stab at a tileable 3x3 three three door. Uh, this means it doesn't use a single piece of redstone, so the entire door uh, can be placed directly next to it, uh, which is pretty neat. Again, if you want a tutorial, you're looking at it, it's just all the timings, the repeaters and components are right here. Remember it doesn't use any redstone, just torches and repeaters and blocks. And this is how this one works. It's a little bit slower, but that's to be expected. Uh, so yeah, this one is probably even more uh, helpful for map makers. I think it would be very awesome to do something like this just uh, didn't mean for it to be sunset uh, just a long line of 3x3 three three doors I did this with the glowstone so you can see whoops you can see that they all work there's a lot of lag it's on my server so um, you can see all the glowstone blocks are up in the middle so that means all the doors are closed and then then it's all open uh, you can probably hook this up to a sequential counter, so like if you completed one challenge, then you completed another challenge, slowly the doors would open up one by one. Now the way I have it wired up here, that's, no, that's wrong. Uh, what you would want to do is something like this. Whoops. Like that. Uh, so because the way that this is right here, this is actually going to bud the adjacent piston so that's a problem I didn't realize I did release this on the uh, minecraft forums a while ago uh, I didn't re realize that I did this um, so yeah this doesn't work uh, but just right here you can see that a simple fix uh, now let me think I guess that just about does it for this video. Um, Tileable 3x3 for, for map makers and such. Um, pretty neat. Uh, really compact 140 block volume 3x3. 3x3 with uh, blocks that come out of the side and a brand new fixed more rational 3x3 I'd say. Uh, very fast. As I said, and once again, this is the venue for the Mega World save. Hopefully that'll be out soon. I The reason that I came up with, well, this 3x3 three three anyway. I came up with that one while I was procrastinating, making this uh, world save. I didn't get far. <laughs> Whatever, but yeah, so this is the Redstone Innovation channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to show you support for more content in the future. As always, we thank you for watching.